The 15th Congressional District, the South Bronx, it's a neighborhood of history, of pride. Yankee Stadium is here, but this is also one of the poorest congressional districts in the country. The next person to represent this community in Congress will have to beat out a crowded field. It's filled with political heavyweights and some eager newcomers. Vote for Idanis Rodriguez for Congress, a real fighter. Political showdown in the South Bronx. Get out and vote for Trevana Newsom. Today, PIX11 caught up with several of the men and women on the campaign trail, pushing to win next Tuesday's Democratic primary for the 15th Congressional District, as longtime Congressman Jose Serrano retires. The South Bronx is still reeling from one of the highest coronavirus infection rates in the country. Right now, we are living a crisis in terms of uh, twofold, right? COVID and uh, racial inequality. Will Democratic primary voters choose established politicians like former city council speaker Melissa Mark Viverito, Assemblyman Michael Blake, or even Councilman Idanis Rodriguez? So you immigrant and an immigrant, they are with me. And the immigrant that came from Nigeria, from Mali, from Ghana, from Congo, as I came from the Dominican Republic. Or will Bronxites select a fresh face to politics? Tomas Ramos is an educator. I'm just like everybody else. I'm a, I'm a normal person that has a lot of concerns for our community. I'm an educator. I'm a community organizer. Shivana Newsom is a co-founder of Black Lives Matter Greater New York. I want people to know that I'm a revolutionary, that I'm a fighter, and I'm unbought and unbossed, as Shirley Chisholm would say, that I've been here fighting with no recognition and no pay. And once I get to D.C., I'll have power to change all of our lives. Many of the headlines in this race have centered around two of the front runners, Richie Torres, an openly gay councilman, and Ruben Diaz Sr., who opposes marriage equality and faced calls to resign from the council after saying it was run by the homosexual community. We have a, a, a Trump apologist cloaking himself as a Democrat who is truly a Republican that is running in the seat. Diaz Sr. has been absent from primary debates focused on reaching voters directly. Several political analysts tell PIX11, Diaz Sr. has two advantages in this race, strong name recognition, and as the only conservative Democrat, his more liberal opponents may split progressives, clearing the way for Diaz Sr. to emerge as the candidate with the most votes. When Ruben Diaz Sr. appears on the primary ballot next Tuesday, he will just be listed as Ruben Diaz. And some political observers note, voters may confuse him with his son, the very popular Bronx Borough President, Ruben Diaz Jr. One thing is for sure, this is a race that we will continue to watch. Reporting from the South Bronx, Ayanna Harry, PIX11 News.